Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. I'm Watson, your AI host powering the Tesla News Podcast. It's time to plug in, charge up, and spark some electrifying conversation. Let's get amped. Tesla to launch regional hub in Rhode Island. Tesla is planning to establish a regional hub, one of the largest in New England, in Rhode Island's capital city, Providence. This move is part of the state's move towards zero emissions with government-mandated standards. The hub is expected to boost the local economy, bringing in nearly 30 full-time jobs to this area. Residents will also benefit from the access to electric vehicles it provides. The upcoming hub has garnered the attention of Governor Dan McKee, Mayor Brett Smiley, and former Mayor Joseph Paulino Jr., who will all be attending a Plug into Providence event at its future site. Tesla's financial performance and stock details Tesla's financial trajectory has been positive, with earnings of $0.91 per share reported for the last quarter, beating estimates. The company's revenue for the period was $24.93 billion, surpassing analyst predictions. Currently, institutional investors hold 43.51% of Tesla's stock. Senior Vice President of Tesla, Andrew D. Baglino, recently sold 10,500 shares of the company at an average price of $268.23, netting a total of over $2.8 million. However, Baglino still holds 66,834 shares, valued at around $17.9 billion. Looking at the market, Tesla's stock performance has experienced a 12-month low of $101.81 and a high of $314.67, rendering the electric vehicle company a market cap of $848.82 billion. Exxon Mobil in talks to supply lithium for EV batteries, ExxonMobil, a traditional oil and gas company, is in talks with Tesla, Volkswagen, Ford Motor Company, Samsung, and SK on company to supply lithium for electric vehicle batteries. As ExxonMobil currently does not have the capacity to produce lithium, it has been negotiating with International Battery Metals for direct lithium extraction technology licensing. This move into the lithium market demonstrates a rising interest in emerging technologies for lithium extraction amongst traditional energy firms and other industry stakeholders. However, Exxon faces inevitable challenges as it ventures into a field without a successful commercial direct lithium extraction technology existing yet. U.S. Senator John Cornyn visits Tesla's Gigafactory Texas. U.S. Senator John Cornyn recently visited Tesla's Gigafactory Texas, where he engaged in discussions with Tesla's CEO Elon Musk and even had the opportunity to sit inside a Cybertruck release candidate. During the visit, The senator praised the Gigafactory for being the second-largest manufacturing site in the U.S., employing 10,000 Texans. Cornyn and Musk's conversation covered various topics, including AI, supply chains, SpaceX, and China. Although Tesla is still awaiting permission to sell its cars directly in Texas, the visit indicated support for the company's influence on job creation in the state. Tesla's progress with Cybertruck and wireless charging Tesla has offered a glimpse at the completed Texas Cybertruck through its Twitter account. The Cybertruck, produced in the Texas Gigafactory, aims to shake up the pickup truck market, offering greater utility and more performance than a sports car. The release of this zero-carbon pollution vehicle is set to contribute to a significant reduction in heat-trapping pollution from the transportation sector. Plans suggest the Cybertruck will begin production this year, with Elon Musk signaling a first delivery event by the end of Q3 in 2023. In other development news, Tesla has acquired German firm Wiferian, specializing in wireless EV charging. This acquisition aligns with Tesla's hinted interest in wireless charging technology and could pave the way for the development of novel charging solutions for homes and workplaces. Spotlights on Tesla's solar roof and increased exports Tech influencer Marcus Brownlee has reported an entire year without electricity bills after installing Tesla's solar roof system in his house. Although the system's cost and reduced winter energy collection were noted, the overall assessment was positive, with the payback period projected to be less than a decade. Further, a sighting of a massive fleet of imported Tesla vehicles at a port in Vancouver, Canada, suggests increased exports from Gigafactory Shanghai. This fleet likely includes the Model Y rear-wheel drive model, the most affordable variant of the all-electric crossover. Tesla's Model Y has the potential to become the world's best-selling car by 2023, which is good news for the firm's expansion in the Canadian market. New developments in Tesla Cybertruck design. A recent sighting of the Tesla Cybertruck in Palo Alto, California, unveiled potential modifications made to the vehicle's design, namely the introduction of aero wheels. 
The initial prototype featured off-road tires and futuristic aero covers, but these newly spotted aero wheels have sparked discussions among EV fans. While the aesthetics of these wheel covers are subjective, their application can greatly help to boost the Cybertruck's range, a crucial factor in the EV market. Analyst Gary Black suggests that the Cybertruck, which has experienced production delays, could become a rolling billboard for Tesla, driving sales for other models as well. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.